welcome to Adam Today on air and television, Mabushi Adam Nigeria and Khadija Uluwatoni Ami. This week we shall be examining the World Agritourism Day. I know people may be wondering what that means. So here it is. Like the key sectors of human societies, agriculture has in recent years proved to be a key tourism potential as people travel to nations to see, understudy, and explore their agriculture potentials. This no doubt explains why May 16th every year was set aside as World Agritourism Day. It is a global event that highlights the relationship between agriculture and tourism. It offers a unique opportunity for travelers to experience the rich heritage and sustainable practices of farming communities worldwide. As part of the global community, Nigeria joins the rest of the world to celebrate the World Agritourism Day with the same food security for all. And in commemorating the day, the Minister of State for Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Ali Abdullahi, stated government move to explore agritourism as part of measures to increase revenue and boost food security. Senator Abdullahi highlighted plans of government at an event to mark the 2024 World Agritourism Day in Abuja, lauded the agritourism initiatives. Yet, he emphasized the benefits of agritourism such as farm tours, workshops, seasonal festivals, and testing of farm products by tourists. Let's listen to him. Bright minds of this generation. If you are not digitally connected, they don't even know you exist. So, this concept, I believe, is an opportunity for us to also enable the environment and encourage the young ones to come in and participate. And I believe this opportunity and this message is for them. Agritourism encompasses a range of activities, including farm tours, agricultural festivals, farm stays, educational programs that connect visitors and the agricultural landscape into the agricultural world, and activities related to agricultural tourism ranges from all the things I have said, and it depends on the variety from one place to the other. So it is a lot of things. Over the decades, the concept and practice of agritourism has spread over the globe, and it is practiced in many countries such as Italy, United States of America, UK, Germany, France, Spain, Poland, Malaysia, Indonesia, and in Africa, most of the Southern and Eastern African countries are very also advanced in this. Kenya, Tanzania, South Africa, and the like. And it might interest you to know that the kind of form some people want to look at today is to have gateways. You just go to one farm and you get lost. And at least unwind yourself. And this concept is also evolving even here in the FCT. I'm sure while it is not going to be proper, I start calling some names. But I want to assure you that we know there are such farms that are evolving where families go there to have their weekends and see how agriculture looks like. So it is an evolution that is taking place right before our eyes. So agritourism presents a unique opportunity to combine aspects of agricultural tourism to agricultural industry. It means our landscape is changing. Definitely it will be fun if children, for example, will see a place where cocoa beans is being processed from beginning to the end and they are getting chocolate at the other end. Those are the kind of fun children would like to be part of. And these are things that are possible under the concept of agritourism. I would therefore want to thank all the previous speakers who have given goodwill message. I listened to many of them carefully and how they relate all of these things to the issue of food security. Now, food security is a collective responsibility of all of us. When you produce half a ton of food in your backyard, you have contributed to food security because it means you are not going to the market to make a demand. 
Therefore, you are reducing the pressure on the demand in the market. In those days, the agricultural science program in various schools was done so that some schools actually were using products of their school farm to feed themselves. So, all we are trying to say here is that the current challenge of food insecurity in the country, where the price of food has gone up, is a function of supply. And I think where we have massive supply, it is bound to drop down the price. And I want to call on all of you that for us in the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security, we are more than prepared to create the enabling environment for meaningful participation in the agricultural value chain across all the crops and commodities in the sector. Let me emphasize that the Ministry is working with relevant stakeholders to support agribusiness development because we believe agriculture should be treated as a business. Today, just yesterday, we are having an engagement on the cocoa development in the country where we noted as we speak today, cocoa in the international market is $13,000 per ton. But well, if we go to the states, about 17 states that are cocoa producing, you will see many young people not taking advantage of this. We are about to reverse such kind of trend. Because our belief is that when you are ignorant, you will wallow in poverty. And we have to remove the ignorance by providing solid information, by leading people to where technology exists. And so, fortunately, we are here in the headquarters of the research system in agriculture in Nigeria, the ERC. So I want to assure you that we are aware of the role of technology, and we are doing all we can to make sure that we improve on availability of technology to support farming across many strata of our society. Today, you can produce in a can, in a box, so many food items that you can eat. And I believe these are the part of the form that we need to create, and that is the beauty around the agritourism concept. We are resolute to deliver enabling policies and programs in line with the ministry's deliverables as assigned by President Bola Metinubu. And one of the core deliverables is for us to guarantee food security. And in guaranteeing food security, we need every area of support to be given. And I believe with the concept of agritourism, a lot of people's attention will be drawn to what they can produce and how they can produce and how they can also process so that Nigerians, everywhere they find themselves, will have access to food at an affordable rate. On a final note, when the Executive Secretary mentioned the issue of grains or peace, yes, we have a lot of prices. But our belief here is that if we expand production in agriculture and increase area of production, idle hands that are easily being dragged into criminality and criminal act will definitely not be joining that kind of gang. And we can see criminality and all this insecurity coming down drastically. We are committed and we want to charge the Nigerian youth to take the opportunity offered by the administration of President Bola Metinubu as we want to deploy technology in every application, digital, chemical, biological, chemical, mechanical, to make sure that we improve the productivity of farm operations. We've got your message. It's no longer news. You don't want poor cutlass. I don't want either. Even though I actually use poor cutlass, to do my family. But definitely, this generation, I agree with you, we have to cut it out. And in cutting it out, I want to assure you that right now, the president, President Bola Metinubu, GCFR, is sitting right on top 
of the agenda of providing mechanization for Nigeria through many programs. We have the agreement memorandum of understanding with John Deere so that we will have access to tractors over the next five years, the target of 10,000 tractors with service centers across. We have the Green Imperative Program also that is in the works, targeting the large supply of agricultural tractors also and other mechanization equipment with service centers. We have the Greener Hope you know, mechanization program also. And we also have another one as a program with Belarus to also supply a large catch of mechanical devices, tractors, and the like to support mechanization. Because the facts are against us. 0 0.027 horsepower per hectare is the current mechanization level in Nigeria. That is unacceptable. We want to reverse this because the African average is 1.7 horsepower per hectare. Global average is 2.5 horsepower per hectare. And we believe Nigeria is in the eyes of the globe. Why can't we go for 2.5 or even 3? That is the vision of President Bola Tinubu as far as mechanization is concerned. And I want to assure you that we are working very hard on this. Now, with respect to the agri tourism, the president said this is the first time Nigeria is celebrating. And he is partnering with the Federal Minister of Agricultural Food Security. The approval has previously been given as endorsement. And the SGF, also on behalf of the federal government, endorsed it. So what I want to assure you is that going forward, the Federal Ministry of Agriculture will see to the establishment of a National Agri-Tourism Development Committee. And this year, even before Ambassador came to us, in our briefing last year, when we came on board, we agreed that we are going to promote the development of agri-tourism. And so agri-tourism is captured in the budget 2024 of the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Security. And so our target before the next year celebration will be that we need to develop a framework and standard operation guidelines for agri-tourism in Nigeria. So I want to indicate that stakeholders in this endeavor will include the Federal Ministry of Tourism, but be that as it may, that will be one of the key partnering ministries. The others will be Federal Ministry of Information and National Orientation, Federal Ministry of Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy, Federal Ministry of Arts, Culture and Creative Economy, Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment, and then Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development. Of course, the big one, private sector, the drivers. You are not clapping for yourself. I thought the private sector is more in the hall here. So what I want to say is that the model will be federal government enabled but private sector led agritourism development in Nigeria. Because when you do that, you will be creating a more sustainable system that we ensure that everybody does what is supposed to be done. While we keep our eyes on the standards, on the regulations that will come along with it. I have no doubt 
that this occasion will explore ample opportunities to strengthen the agribusiness sector and promote agricultural tourism and market development, which will ultimately contribute to the eight point agenda of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, which includes inclusivity, job creation and economic growth, access to capital, of course, among others. For his part, the President of the Lord Agriturism Organization, Ambassador Trust Ogoye, had on utilizing agritourism to nourish and grow the nation and provide economic opportunities for the Timmy population. Let's hear from him as well. My name is uh, Ambassador Architect Trust Ogoye, the President of the World Agricultural Organization, on the occasion of the World Agricultural Day celebration. And the Regional Research Council of Nigeria, Mapuchi Abuja, May 16, 2024. I, I esteem it a wonderful honor and most to welcome us to this World Agriculture Day. We have been meeting here this morning and shown the readiness of the development of World Agriculture Organization in Nigeria. From history, in 1971, Nigeria made a global history by Mr. Glacius and Mother Atiga, born in May 24, 1930, in Warren State. He moved in historic motion during the Executive Committee Council meeting of former International United Nation and United Union of Office Travel Organization in Turkey. He moved the motion of adoption of September 27 as World Tourism Day is in Nigeria. Before its metaphors, the United Nations World Tourism Organization, UNWTO. Today, Nigeria is making another history in the global community by initiating World Agriculture Day celebration in Nigeria, May 16, every year to join the global community commemorating the day. This initiative was adopted and inaugurated by the President of the Secretary Government Federation, 16 May 2023. What we are doing here today is the first in the history of Nigeria and the history of Africa to ensure for security, job creation, and investment. The world that we're doing this celebration today stands out as a global legacy of this administration, led by His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tunku GCFR, President of of forces of armed forces. We are hopeful that World Agriculture Organization, it will not be long we metamorphose to UNWAO like UNWTO. This organization is in collaboration with the Federal of Agriculture and Food Security to establish the Nigerian Agriculture Play Project in the Tarsisi State, FCT inclusive, to ensure food security job creation and investment. We have structure in this organization that is the state representative, FCT inclusive, zonal coordinators, advancing board councils, and country directors. Today, we will be inaugurating these state coordinators and country directors and zonal coordinators. Finally, I want to thank on behalf of the organization, to thank the local minister for taking his time to be here with us for the second time. We are very, very grateful. Very grateful. As we gather here today to commemorate World Agro Tourism Day, it is my honor to address you on behalf of Mr. David Stevenson, the country director of the World Food Program in Nigeria. In, re in reflecting on the journey of WFP in Nigeria, 
We are humbled by the progress we have made in advancing food security and rural development over the years. Through collaborative efforts with the Nigerian government and our esteemed partners, WFP has played a significant role in enhancing livelihoods and ensuring access to nutritious food for vulnerable communities across the nation. In its commitment to addressing the multifaceted challenges of food insecurity in Nigeria through various and capacity building programs, we have strived to catalyze positive change and foster sustainable development in Nigerian food systems. Agritourism stands as a beacon of promise for Nigeria. Offering a myriad of benefits, including heightened food production, rural community development, job creation, and bolstered foreign exchange. As we commemorate World Agritourism Day, Nigeria is presented with a golden opportunity to spotlight agriculture and agritourism as key driver of progress. These sectors are not only complementary but possess the transformative potential to uplift the livelihood of millions residing in the rural areas. With Nigerians' abundant arable land, skilled workforce, and diverse agricultural bounty, it possesses a compelling narrative to entice tourism development partners. To expedite Nigeria's journey towards food security, governmental entities must channel greater investment into storage and preservation infrastructure, catering not only to grains, but also to perishable commodities such as fruits and dairies. Specifically, the government will do well to further expand its ongoing reforms to include the retooling of the National Grain Reserve as a critical measure in safeguarding Nigeria's food security. Food security, as well as diversification of our economy, has been at the forefront of the centerpiece of the Bola Ahmed Tinembo administration. And I know that wherever you find yourself, and very actively too, you have always advocated that every Nigerian, particularly those of us working on that, must tally our developmental activities towards achieving that singular goal. I think that is what the chief agro tourist, if I can name you like that, our dear ambassador is doing in aligning himself, sir, to what you have always advocated for. I know, sir, Your Excellency, that you are not just an agriculturalist. You have the passion for agriculture. But most importantly, as a very young man, you have dedicated the rest of your life to making sure that things are done according to what people can put food on their table. That I can attest to. Just yesterday, Your Excellency, we were at a peace meeting at the FCTA conference hall. And I remember quickly what you said. Everybody stood up and was talking about peace and peace and peace. And everybody was talking about how to use force. But when I was asked to give a vote of thanks, I said, I remember very vividly, if my minister were to be here, they would have been talking about peace without a bullet. Peace using tractor. Peace using milking machine. And peace using our food and our uh, It is unacceptable that the millions still suffer from hunger and malnutrition and food security not only rob individuals of their basic human dignity, it also hampers societal progress and stability. It is in this light that the effort to have the World Agri Tourism Organization situated in every part of the country is indeed a laudable one. Uh, we have found ourselves at a crucial juncture where we must confront the task, stark reality of food insecurity.
There are many factors I've been stated earlier, climate change, security, insecurity, poverty, amongst other um, issues, and we must not succumb to despair, but rather rise with resilience and determination. Uh, achieving security for all requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the root causes of hunger while promoting sustainable solutions. Uh, it necessitates empowering smallholder farmers, uh, investing in agricultural innovation, and fostering inclusive economic growth. And it's on the note that we wrap it up on Agri Today for this week. Please join us again next week. I am Khadija. We want to you. Thank you for watching.